Now let's talk about unit tests in addition to the feature tests. So far we've been discussing only the feature tests, so load the page and test something. But there's also a folder unit test. An example test doesn't really tell us much, it just asserts true, it's just a fake example. But the difference is that unit is some kind of internal code of your application. So unit tests are supposed to be testing some feature, some function in terms of code. So it doesn't really load the page or load the API usually, doesn't use the full feature, but instead test that some internal method returns correct data, for example. So even the word unit is kind of like a small unit of your full application. And the official Laravel docs kind of state that the feature test is the way to go and majority of your tests should be feature tests. But also in addition to that, if you want to test the clear internal units to be working, unit tests are the way to go. And let me demonstrate you the example. For example, in our page, you want to show additional column price in euros. And there is a converter of currency between dollars and euros. It would be a fake example, so it doesn't use any conversion rates or anything. But imagine you have some kind of class. Let's imagine it could be a service, it could be some general helper, whatever. So there is a specific function inside of some class to convert the currency. And then you use that function in your controller, you don't change anything. In the index blade, you use price underscore euros, which is resolved as an attribute in the model. So get price euro attribute calls that service and from price converts from USD to euros. And your overall feature tests would test that the page loads successfully with those values, with the products. But wouldn't it be also cool to test if the service converter works well with different currencies, different values and stuff like that. So then it becomes a separate kind of black box test of just the currency converter. And for that, we will generate a unit test. So let's delete that example test from unit folder because we won't actually use that. And instead we generate PHP artisan make test currency test, for example, dash dash unit. Then it would generate a test file in the unit test folder. And if we open that up, currency test, it also contains the same test example. And we will change that to testing various scenarios from our currency converter service. So for example, test, and all the methods, by the way, not sure if you got it until now, it should be prefixed with test, and then test convert USD to Euro successful, for example. And what do we do? We call that service so we just do new currency service, then call the method convert. Let's put in $100 from dollars to euros, and then the result will be some kind of value. So result. And then we assert, not assert C or assert U has, we assert the values. You can assert the values of the variables. For example, this assert equals. And the parameters, as you can see, expected value and the actual value. So expected value from that conversion should be 98. Again, it's an artificial example with hard-coded rates of currency, just for demonstration. So result should be 98. Or you can even skip that variable at all and do this assert equals here, 98, and calling the service without separate value of result. And now if we launch artisan test again, look what happens. In the unit, we have convert USD to Euro successful. And as a proof that it may be not successful, let's add 97 here and relaunch the test. PHP artisan test will fail with the error that failed asserting that 98 matches expected 97. And from here, it's your decision of what to test, what cases to test. Let's get back with 98 and let's make another test function. I will delete the comment. Test convert, for example, USD to British pounds or something. And then the expected result is zero because that rate isn't set in the settings. And then the test name should be different. It's not successful, but for example, returns zero. And then, of course, we need to change the parameter GBP here. And let's relaunch our test, PHP Artisan test. It is successful. 
that USD to GBP returns zero. So this is the main difference between feature tests and unit tests. It's not either or, you should actually use both in the real applications. Features are to test how feature works and separate units could be part of that test, testing the underlying internal functions. It's like imagine you're building a bridge and to launch the bridge, of course, you need to test that the cars could go over the bridge and the bridge doesn't break. But also it could be great to test that separate parts of the bridge, separate bricks or separate, I'm not sure how it's called in the bridge construction, but separate parts are stable enough on their own. So these are your unit tests.